revolution in hell. The old Burgundy rule has fallen and crimson banners fly as the new Satan has taken the throne. His armies of darkness wait to invade Earth in full, but the secret to traversing the plains lies deep underneath New York City. As Ezekiel, the old Satan the world had feared for so long has fallen. Inside the tomb, he still possesses the magic that the new Crimson Lord so desperately needs to bring his full army across the mortal divide. Heaven must stop the invasion, or everything is lost. The only man who can stop the forces of hell is the one Heaven doesn't want to employ. Johnny Graves, son of the Crimson Satan, who seeks redemption for his centuries of evil deeds. Guided by his only ally in heaven, Johnny Graves must reach the tomb of Azazekiel before his father's troops and save the world from Armageddon. Hello, welcome to Johnny Graves, or I should say, welcome back to Johnny Graves. As the last time we played this game, it was in early access, but now it's a real game. It's real, it's true, and it came out, and I promised I was going to cover it when it came out, but I was doing wedding stuff, so I didn't get the chance to, because I was on hiatus at that point, but enough of making excuses, we're playing Johnny Graves, can you hear me, no, yes I can hear you, great, so the link's not broken, have you made it to the subway tunnels, yeah, I kind of crashed into the place, okay then, you have to find your brother, <laughs> I was like, okay then, you should be somewhere in these tunnels, did the intel say where exactly? No, I'm afraid not. You just had to go look for him. That figures. We'll know where you can find Ezekiel's tomb. See, I know how to pronounce it now due to the fact that they have it in the beginning. I'll just start shooting at things and see what I can find. Well, you got your gun and magic. Knock yourself out. Okay, cool. We're playing Johnny Graves. Um, so yeah, they added a bunch of things to this game, actually. Well, they added a few things to this game that make it, that reward the exploration, which was something I was a little bit worried about with the early access, but I mean, it was early access, but now it's here and we got our abilities from the get go and he actually feels a little bit stronger now, uh, compared to the early access. So this game should be a little bit more manageable. Yay. Because, I mean, I really enjoyed this game quite a lot uh, when I first played it, but I found it really hard. Alright, so we're going to just try my best to explore things and hopefully not get ate by doggos. Uh, I should probably use my blink a little bit more often. I hear doggos. Haha, <laughs> you're dead, doggos. Alright. The dead guy looks like one of Ezekiel's followers. They are here to fight your brother's troops. Well, they aren't that successful. You should probably keep on looking. Make it her sound so cheerful. I imagine everyone's like British for some reason in this game. Um, I could go that way, but I'm not. Not yet. I have to explore some things. So give me a second. Let me explore some things real quick. I promise I'm not going to use a bunch of... uh jump cuts on this I'll just use as many as I feel now the cool thing about these uh, power-ups with the way how they work because uh, you, you'll get power-ups for abilities and your gunshot and pretty much everything but the cool thing about them is when you collect them and if you die you keep them so it gets a little bit easier to clear the parts ahead just a smidge I'm not entirely too sure what the values are that how much they increase uh, damage or cooldown or blah 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 by but they're nice to have and it really rewards the whole exploration factor of each level um all right so let's see go down towards the path of the beginning on the right side hopefully we could get something super cool bye doggo there should probably be another one I would imagine Come on. Oh, there, yeah, there's a token there. I'm probably going to die soon, too. So let me grab... You know what? I can blink right here. Or not. Oh, well, I'll meet you back over here anyway. <laughs> well, we'll back. I decided to go on a little bit further ahead, like about five feet. And uh, there's another coin. Kind of looks like a dead end. Keep looking, Johnny. Of course. 
Gun damage increased. Yay. And then there was some health that we didn't need. But I grabbed it anyway because I am greedy. So I'm going to meet you back over to the first area that we went to. The first little barricade. Because if you remember correctly, we could jump over those rocks. But if you're watching the series for the first time, which I imagine it would be because I probably labeled it part one anyway, then you could jump over those rocks. But you'll see in a second. All right, here we go. We are here. Um, have I mentioned how much I like this music? I'm sure I have. It's really cool. And coming up, we got a big old dude. So we're going to be uh, blinking all over the place while trying to shoot him in the face. Actually, you know what? This might be a good opportunity to use my ground shot. And we're just going to blink out of the way anyway. He shouldn't take too long to kill. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take that. Ooh, right of fire. Cool, so now we can shoot faster. I wonder how fast that gets uh, towards the end. Uh, let's see, left or right. Uh, I don't remember which way to go, but I'm just hoping to get loot anyway, so it's fine. We can do it. We're perfectly capable. I don't know why that dog freaked me out. Oh, shite. All right, cool. Oh, crap. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to use the ricochet. It just has extra damage. There we go. Oh, look at that ragdoll physics. He's kind of like shaking his arm. <laughs> All right. Anywho. And we got a little bit more smoke. Reload time decrease. That's good. That would be great once we do that a little bit, because uh, one thing that, well, I mean, it's a revolver. Revolvers are going to reload slow anyway, but, I mean, faster reloads are always good. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. Ow, I got eight. Oh, no. Not the eight. All right. Oh yeah, that's right, you regenerate if you don't take damage past the health bar. That's cool. Like, if you kill a block, then you won't regenerate past that. Alright. So, I'm gonna do something stupid, because, I mean... You never know what's at the other end of these things. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on walking, and it doesn't look like I can get much further. But, at least we know. At least we know. And since we have the checkpoint, all we have to do is kill the big guy again. Which is fine. And a couple doggos, but eh, whatever. They had it coming. You know, I kind of wonder if you can... Gun damage increase. What? Where did I pick that one up at? I'm sure I'm going to find it and edit it. Probably end up doing a slow-mo replay. Keep that in mind, editor me. Uh, Ground shot. Though it is really cool that we get some extra damage. That's very helpful, actually, because then we can take down the big guys easier. Be cool once we can one-shot the dogs, the hellhounds. But, eh, whatever. What ifs? Um, there's some fire here. Can we do anything? We can blink past it, but I want to go off to the left. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was right. Cool. What's this? Blink distance increase. Oh, cool. That's very helpful. Now, I'm sure they probably have something to increase uh, or decrease blinks uh, reload speed. So then you can re-blink faster. Re-blink. Because at the moment, we just kind of have to wait for it to charge up whenever we need it. But it's a good ability to have. Huh. Cool. Don't know why I'm struggling so much. Um, we can jump over those rocks. I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go anyway. But I will kill the doggos right over here. Because... I'm surprised they weren't showing up yet. I think there used to be doggos here. I'm not going crazy, right? Maximum health. Oh, I could kill myself because I could try to explore that side of the bus, but... Oh, there's nothing here. I wasted my time. Oh, well... Yeah, I like this game because I could do a whole lot of trial and error. What's that? What is this? Regeneration. Ooh, nice. Looks like your brother brought in some heavily, heavier soldiers. 
Looks like something out of my father's new factories. Huh, so your father manufactures monsters now? Satan has a reputation to keep, I guess. Good thing you have your gun magic. Gun magic's always helpful. All right, so let's see. Let's take the right path, because I'm sure there's gotta be something down. Oh, shite. Yeah, you know what? That actually answers my questions on this, because I noticed they had gears on them like a while back. So I was kind of wondering what their deal was. What is... That's moving. Can we... Why is that moving? That is so creepy. Oh, blink speed increase. That's neat. So we got extra blink distance and extra blink speed. All right, that's actually kind of helpful. Well, I mean, all of them are helpful. Anything that's plus one is helpful. All right, so we can go up, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna lead out. Ow, I hurt myself. Now you did. Now I hurt you, ha ha. Anything else here? Or is this the end of the line? Looks like it's the end of the line. I have to say, you seem to handle yourself pretty well down there. I've seen worse, just tell me where to go. The door should get you to the maintenance corridor and the subway station. Gotcha. Cool, they tell you. Back in the early access, they didn't tell you whether or not they, they uh, what that exit did. So you kind of like surprise yourself, like uh, trying to get out. You're like, ah, oh, shit. I didn't explore everything, though. They didn't reward ex exploration back in the day, mind you. I'm saying back in the day, even though I played this game like a few months ago. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, wow. All right, so cool. We're on the top side of the subway station now. Well, I mean, actually the subway station, unlike last time. Yeah, we should be fighting a boss soon. Yeah, Daniel. You're the last person to, I expected to see here, traitor. Now that's no way to greet your brother. I've got nothing to say to you. Leave now and I'll spare you. Can't do it. What do you care? I'm here to stop you guys from destroying the world. You're too late, as Ezekiel's power will be ours. All right, Daniel. Last time I fought you, I had no powers, but now I have powers, so you're not gonna like me. Ow. You know what, I can use a ground shot. Oh yeah, that's helpful. Now if I remember correctly, you could... Uh, that is so much more helpful now. Now, if I could remember correctly, you could lure him into the train if you wanted to. But I don't need it, since now I can dodge him like a boss. And I'm an expert at this game, of course. Oh, I missed him. It's kind of hard since he moves so fast. Is he done? Wow, really? He really did not want to play. Cool. Well, I think we're going to leave things off here. I actually beat him the first try. Last time I did this, it took like 80 million tries. Um, so anyway, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment on my video on what you feel about this game. I really enjoy it. I love all the mechanics in it. And if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button and you can stay up to date with all my shenanigans. So until then, as always, this is Zaria Kuroku. Thumbs up. You can't even see my thumb with the microphone, so pretend the microphone's a thumb, or I could use my other thumb. And I will catch you guys absolutely later.